Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a mail opening, as always. Got this much to get through today. I actually have even more than that, but that's like music stuff. And this video is already going to be long enough, so I figure let's just not include that. So the first thing I've got to show you is not mail, as you might have noticed on the top. Uh, this is a couple of WWE Rumblers sets. My girlfriend's charity shop is closing down, which is a big shame. But she was able to pick up these uh, Rumbler sets for me. So we've got the John Mor uh, who? We've got the John Morrison TLC uh, table and ladder set, which is cool. And we've got the Undertaker casket match uh, play set. I don't know what the hell we're going to use these for. Maybe we'll invest in El Torito and Hornswoggle and do some WLC business. Or more likely, we'll probably just sell them on. But you know, they're pretty cool to have. And we'll, we'll work out what's going to happen with those. Then we'll go to the parcels. Why don't we... I was going to do the big one first, but why don't we work through the little ones and just work our way down to the big one. So this is a pretty oversized bag. Now this is either a Dean Ambrose Elite or a Steve Austin Elite. So let's find out which. It's a Dean Ambrose Elite. Now this is really cool. This was uh, actually one of about 30 listings that I bidded on. This seller had like over 100 listings. Loads of really good stuff. I bid on literally like... 30 things that he had listed this was the only one i actually won and uh i didn't really want it to be honest like i mean i was just getting it for the sake of it because it's as i say it's a dean ambrose elite these dean ambrose elites with ta tank tops and jeans i'll pick up every time i see them cheap now because there's so many customs you can make obviously i used one already to make grandmaster sexy this one's going to be used to make jimmy wang yang if his head is not too big in fact actually uh nah it's probably the wrong style of jacket to really get away with jimmy wang yang's jacket that's the main issue with them is those black leather jackets that comes with a TNA Toy Biz AJ Styles is perfect for so many customs. But I mean, you can't get them anywhere other than with that Toy Biz AJ Styles. I mean, it's probably the first, but anyway. And this one came with the uh, Kendo stick as well, which is always just a bonus. I think this was like seven or eight pounds. So that was really good to get him with the Kendo stick as well. I think we got him with the Kendo stick the first time I got this for the Grandmaster Sexy Custom. So that's really cool. We'll, we'll building up a small kendo stick collection now and then later on today i'll see if the jimmy wang yang head fits on him if not there's other people you can do with him like seriously the, i can't understand how many people just wore like a white tank top and jeans all that you could get away with doing the next one this is a cool one this i actually ordered this the day before the jeff hardy ultimate edition oh there goes that sharpie david's dead no it's not <laughs> You can't, you can't, you can't do that. I actually ordered this a day before the Jeff Hardy Ultimate Edition came on pre-order on our Amazon. So that caused me some further, made me have some further deliberation on whether I wanted to order the Ultimate Edition, which after it came up on pre-order again, I have now since ordered it. But yeah, uh, how much tape is on this, man? Slowing down my mail opening videos again, man. I don't know what the fucking accent that was supposed to be. So this is the Jeff Hardy... Oh, fuck. Good thing I was planning on opening this because I have scissored the box. Oh, yeah, scissor! This is the Jeff Hardy and Triple H twin pack. Probably what the next NW opening video is going to be on. Ha! Wrong! You know, I've been outspoken about wanting to get boxes off shelves and this is a twin pack. I don't want twin packs lying around, but I need that Jeff Hardy out because he's going to be doing stuff relatively soon. I originally thought he was double fists again. Like, when I first saw this picture, I thought he had double fists again. And I was like, how many Jeff Hardys are they going to release without any open hands? Like, come on. They did like four in a row. Luckily, no. He's got open hands. It's great. It's such a good figure. Of both of them, actually. The Jeff Hardy's quite nice. Obviously, the, the early 2000s Hardy Boy shirt's really nice touch as well. Uh, this IC title looks really good as well. The Triple H is really nice as well. And isn't this graphic just like, I mean, he's backwards there, but it's, it's just pure nostalgia, like the graphics on this thing. Smackdown backdrop's going to be much used to me as well. The box itself is really nice. Don't really want to get into that too much though, because uh, as I say, we're probably going to end up you open this relatively soon. And I don't know whether you can see the line across the box where I've just sliced it with my scissors, but yeah. I was actually going to go half seas on this with my friend Anth, like we've, we've talked about in the past when I've talked about this set, my friend Anth has offered to split it with me and get the, uh, the Triple H half. Now that I've got it, I was kind of thinking like, the only Triple H I have is Old Man Triple H. So if I want a long haired Triple H, it might be worth keeping this guy around. But if I change my mind, you know, we, we, we've talked about that in the past. I'm sure he'll be happy to, uh, to take the Triple H off me. And if you're watching, 
Hey, sexy mama. I could talk all day about how happy I am to get that uh, set, but we probably better push on. I think I was 38 pounds something. So it was like, like 19 each for the elites, which is a good price. But like, I mean, obviously that's like quite a rare set as well. So the fact that like, there was no, 38 pounds seems like a good price for it, is what I'm trying to say. So next up, we have got my third Defining Moments Steve Austin, uh, my second loose one. I basically saw this on eBay when I was just doing my routine searches and came across it for $5.99, I think it was listed for. And I was like, shit, does anyone need a Steve Austin? Because this thing, that's cheap, $5.99. The, 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 the cheapest buy it now that I saw on this yesterday was £14. So $5.99, pretty good, you know, that's less than half price. But nobody wanted it. It's from CJP Consoles, apparently. Second-hand consoles and games. No one I sent it to wanted it, so I thought, hell, I'll grab it. Then I can either use it for a custom, which is, I don't know how likely that is, or I can work out which one of them is better between the one I already have that's loose and this one in terms of joints, because I've actually just ordered the Royal Rumble Steve Austin to replace my Defining Moments one because the joints were so bad in his match with Dolph Ziggler at the SW WrestleFest, which you can watch on my channel. Yeah, so I can I can see if I want to replace my Defining Moments Austin with this one and then just sell off the other one for £14 apparently. Or I can use them as a custom. Don't know how likely that is, but we'll, you know, we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, I guess if we could finally get into this bubble wrap. Good God. What is going on with this? Like, it's just... I don't know how this is taped, but it's just like... It's not coming off, however much tape is on it. I'm more ripping through the bubble wrap than I'm getting the tape off. Right, there we go. So, first thing I'm noticing is uh, we've got a big black spodge on his side there, but that's no problem at all. The ab joint isn't... It's its not great, because that, that it's quite loose once it's going up, but it's not too bad. I think the ab joint is quite loose on the one I already have. And it also has a slight bit of damage, like here. Like, you know, that kind of white, kind of like bent plastic kind of thing. It's got that going on. Yeah, I honestly think this is going to replace my original Defining Moment uh, figure because the joints on that were not great. This one has a loose ankle, but the one I had has like a loose toe, like a loose boot. And that's awful. Like, he, he really just can't stand up. Uh, one of his legs is dead loose as well. So, like, I had to glue that back together. So, that's a bit stiff now. But, yeah, actually, the joints on this are really, really nice. I bet you anything, I end up just owning all of them. And I end up with my box defining moment, my two loose defining moments, one of which doesn't have a jacket, my Royal Rumble Lucy, and the Best of Attitude Era one. I bet you I just end up with all of them. It's worth wrestlers, you could end up just keeping all your figures off, I suppose. But yeah, we'll get that mark off. Probably going to keep this guy. He's in great condition. I'm really happy with that. I really just couldn't understand why he was listed for $5.99 or, you know, why no one had... Snapped him up sooner, but you know, we got him. We don't need him, but we got him, you know. And we can upgrade our Define a Moment, sell that on if we want to. But now let's get on to the big boy. The big bundle. It's a charity shop bundle. This is from Bernardo's. I think it was about £15. You seem to get, I don't, I don't know why this is. I don't know whether it's just me thinking it, but you seem to get bundles from charity shop eBay's cheaper than regular bundles. I don't know why it seems to happen, but yeah. This was, hold on, I'll check the invoice for accurate or not. £15.72 this was, and it's for 15 wrestlers. So I've paid 72p more than I normally would. I try to pay a pound each when I'm reselling. But it's not all to resell. We've got some great stuff here. This bundle has two elites in it. One of which I was after. One of which might be a Steve Austin job where I can swap in the one I already have for better joints and then sell it on. The other thing in here is we've got a lot of generic bodies. So we're going to be able to turn, turn those into trash fed characters. We've got a lot of these as well. Like, So a lot of those people we can turn into trash fed creator wrestlers. And that's all right as well. The final part of this bundle is stuff we can just sell on. And that's always great too. The first thing we'll probably just sell on is this Super Crazy. Super Crazy is actually a proper... Like this exact Super Crazy... The joints are actually pretty good. I thought they were going to be really loose. That shoulder's actually looser than I thought it was. This exact Super Crazy is like a DSW legend. You know, this guy has done great. I remember having like a really big match between him and Steve Austin at one point. I dare say he didn't win, but I, I was a kid, so I can't discount the possibility that he beat Steve Austin. This JBL I was hoping was going to be in a better situation. Two very loose arms, and if I'm completely honest, the figure itself does not sell well. I was really hoping to just use him as like a generic guy in a jean jacket, 
those those arms are not going to be workable he's just going to have to get sold on that is the problem with buying jack stuff for fodder because the joints are terrible speaking of terrible joints i thought i could rely on oh, maybe it'll... oh no yeah yeah i think that's okay you can often rely on ttls having reasonable joints it's just the fact that the ttls this one again i was thinking it is Chris Benoit, but it's probably generic enough to use as, uh, you know, whoever you want. Just a Crippler on the back, I guess, so it kind of ruins it a little bit. Maybe he'll just get sold on. I don't know. We've got a Discolored Chavo Guerrero. Again, this is the Chavo figure that used to be used in classic childhood DSW, just without the Discolored head and arms. He's just a straight sail. There's not really much use I've got for that. I mean, I could probably maybe swing that into a custom if it wasn't all Discolored. Discolored arms are discolored arms, man. You can't do anything with that. We've got a Undertaker basic. These are always pretty good. He looks like he could do with a bit of a clean. I need to do a fig bath on a load of guys anyway, including that Jimmy Wang Yang I mentioned earlier. So that'll be okay. Undertaker basics tend to sell pretty well compared to other basics. You know, you might be able to get like a fiber and postage for that. Uh, although I think I have one listed for that. That's been, you know, it's been waiting around for a while. So maybe you can't get quite that anymore. Here's a figure I'm kind of hoping for the sake of trash fed is in okay condition because... I think it'll be okay uh, for Trash Fed. It's a finishing moves, Chris Jericho. I think the torso is just going to be too loose there. I was hoping to use this for like a generic body. I didn't have much hope that the, the joints would be in great condition, but you know, maybe it will work. But I was kind of thinking it was maybe a bit more articulated body for a, a Trash Fed thing. Either way, I recently sold my first finishing moves figure recently, which was The Undertaker, but did sell for like... 7.99 in postage i think so yeah that was pretty good so maybe there's money in the finishing moves maybe there's not we got the rock in it as well but what i didn't see on the listing of course is that he has a bit of a damaged nose so that may be not of much use after all again we could maybe use the body the joints aren't too bad the torso's a bit loose but i mean if you didn't don't fiddle with it too much trash fed doesn't exactly need much posing Maybe stick someone that with a similar skin tone on there, like Maven or something. Try that. I don't know. Last in that section, we've got a Deluxe Finley. Oh, God, that's stiff. That's a stiff torso for a Finley. A, a good torso joint for a Deluxe, that is, rather than a Finley. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it, it, all the joints are in pretty good condition there. Might hold on to that just for sporadic Finley appearances. The RA one that I do have is in terrible condition. I actually originally bought it off eBay really cheap to use as a Ludwig Borger custom that I was just gonna paint up so like all the paint's really wrecked on it. Joints aren't much better either to be honest. We got a Kevin Owens basic. I figure might be able to use the head for a custom, paint over the body, you know, paint over the the the, the gear I mean. That's pretty like deathmatch trash wrestling style kind of uh gear I reckon. Could probably just use him to be honest. I'm I I reckon Kevin Owens would do that kind of stuff. This is a great one. Just a TTL body with jeans. To be quite honest, that head, it is edge, but I mean, it is quite generic, isn't it? You could use that as a custom guy. So, you know, very generic figure, I reckon. You know, we can use that head, we can use that body. How interesting is this? You know, or, you know, you get stuff from a charity shop. What are the chances of a boogeyman figure with all three of his uh, tassels still attached? I don't even think the one I already own has that. But yeah, that's really cool. I don't know much about Boogeyman. I've not came across a lot of his Jax figures, but maybe there's money there. I mean, maybe tenner, perhaps. I don't know. All I know is that his Elite is worth a lot more than I wish it was, and I don't want to open mine anymore now. This guy, it's a Kofi Kingston. It's one of those fake TTL jobs from like way later on. I didn't realize. I didn't realize they were still doing these when Kofi Kingston was around. But yeah, and it's all bright yellow. So what my thinking is, I'm gonna swap this head for like Elijah Burke or someone because he's got a smiley face and a sweatband on, and turn it into like a gym buff guy, like a, a a trash fed guy who just you know he likes going to the gym and he's all all about positivity and stuff. Wears loads of neon yellow and stuff. I actually have a Rey Mysterio with bright yellow gloves. I'm tempted to swap onto there, but. I don't know, because it kind of just makes the Rey Mysterio useless for no reason. Although, could use that body too. It's like black top, white trousers. I could just use that. And the last thing we got for fodder here... Ah, damn. It does say for real on the side, and it is really nice. I was hoping from this side, this was going to be generic enough to use. But yeah, it's a Chris Benoit figure. It's really nice. I kind of feel like these earlier Jax figures were better at having decent joints. Like, sort of the earlier... 20 series maybe i don't know where this is from but like 
you know, those sort of early years ones, I feel like they were a lot better in terms of like surviving joints than like this. I actually don't know when that JBL's from, but yeah. I just get the vibe that like figures from this sort of era, Billy Kidman's, Eddie Guerrero's, Chris Benoit's, etc. I feel like they turn out better. We got this Undertaker Network Spotlight Undertaker. Ooh, this is in pretty tasty condition, actually. It's missing an elbow pad. The torso joint is better than mine. Uh, the ab joint, rather. I think that's better than mine, probably. What a class figure this is. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Pretty sure I was gushing all over this when I did it on an NW opening. He's only appeared so far in the DSW Royal Rumble. Hopefully, come up with something for him to do soon. Yeah. So, yeah, I might, I might check which of the two of these... The one I already have and this one are better in terms of joints and then sell off the one that is not so good. That is in remarkable condition. That's really good, especially considering the rock with his nose missing. And the final thing is something we actually wanted, which unfortunately is in worse condition. And it is an elite of the rock. Uh, now, I was after one of these because I'm scared about damaging my Nation of Domination one. But, oh, no. I mean, I was wanting a head swap it anyway. I was wanting to head swap it, and then I noticed the red on him, which will probably clean off, but then I noticed the damage to his tattoos. So then I thought, well, maybe we'll just sell him, and then I noticed the scuffs on the back of his head. It's all just falling apart for this rock. This was like the gem of the set. Uh, uh, the torso's loose, that leg's loose. Oh, it's all just falling down at the last hurdle. I mean, this bundle... It wasn't quite how I was hoping it would go. I was hoping it would be a bit better than this, if I'm honest. I was definitely hoping this was going to go a lot better than this. It's the risk you take buying these bundles on eBay. You know, if you were in a charity shop and you came across this, you'd be so disappointed. You'd maybe pick it up anyway, because it'd probably be really cheap. But, yeah. That's a real shame. I'm very disappointed. That That's a dud ending. I've got nothing good to... to, to revive the video with let's look at triple h and jeff hardy again let's cheer ourselves up with this oh look at that oh as if they made this whoa red hair jeff fishnet shirt hardy boys shirt golden trunk trip ic title classic smackdown classic smackdown graphics attitude error in that all right whatever okay i think that's the end of the video now Yep, I'm going to go to fig bath some of these guys. I've got a lot of customs to make, as I've just been saying. So, again, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other content. Goodbye.